Dr. Lloyd, it's been five weeks. Now, all they have found there is bones, intact bones, apparently. At least they're describing it as such. And so my question to you is, it is it, would it have been possible for her to decompose that quickly? Hmm. Well, that's not the usual timeline. Five weeks isn't enough to get down to just bones. Create the image in your head of that Thanksgiving turkey about four days after the holiday. There's going to be grizzle, there's going to be meat and skin, a lot of other things still hanging around. Yeah. So despite the elements, despite the environment, all right, if five weeks aren't enough, even if there were critters around, etc., there would still be other tissue elements there beside pure bone. Well, now, but, but maybe, Drew, Bill, but the maybe, step, maybe, but Bill, maybe they're describing it as such. Maybe there is more there. They're just saying, well, it's predominantly skeletal remains. It could be a language yeah. issue. Yeah. It could be a language issue. But the first point is a positive ID. And with those remains alone, they're going to be able to confirm they already have, probably, if that's Hannah or not. They're going to mm. look at the dental records. They're going to do some bone measurements. And they're going to scrape inside the bone for some blood, just blood typing alone. Some of the more sophisticated blood subtypes will get us in the one out of a billion range to get a confirmed identity of whose skeleton that is and, lying in and that And then bed. how about the suspect's DNA? Is, it, is, is there enough left behind to be able to identify him as well? Depending if it's there, in addition to fluids, if there was a fight, there could be blood stains on the fabric. There could be fibers and other materials from the vehicle, for example, or from his own clothes that they could find either on the body remains, under the fingerprints, or on those pair of pants that could be used to connect the perpetrator with Hannah's remains.